Good morning, guys, and welcome back to our channel. Hello, guys, and welcome back to our channel, I should say. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Explorer Girl. Oh, I love your coat. Look at this coat, guys. It's literally the cutest thing in the world. Sorry, we're just outside the lodge waiting for James to get ready. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Where's the Gruffalo? There he is. It's the Gruffalo. Are you looking at the dad? He's inside. He's getting changed. So, yeah, James is just um, getting his bits together. We are currently... Did you want to see more of a hello? Hey. Hello. What are you looking at? Can you hear the birds tweeting? Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> We're currently in Centre Parks, hence all the gorgeous woodland lodges. Oh, guys, we are having a whale of a time. Welcome to our Centre Parks vlog. This is. Um, have you been travelling in here? Have you? Have you been travelling in there? You've been so good on the back of Daddy's bike. Hello, there he is. Good and more good. That's like um, the Buckley Reed Amber. What? Where's what Mrs. Ladybird? Here there he is. is. Where's sleeping daddy? Here he is. You had a lion yesterday. <laughs> I did. We've done that thing again yeah. where like one of us has a lion and then the other one has it the next day. I mean, it works well. It does work really it well. It does, yeah. definitely. We usually so, yeah. get on the weekends, don't we? One of us has a lion we on do. Saturday and one on a Sunday. We do. And then during the week we wake up together. We do. It's but nice. we thought. Centre Parks is exhausting, oh. so we need those extra lions, I you know? know? All the swimming, <laughs> all the soft play. Literally. Here we are, guys. So, we, like, the amazing thing about Centre Parks, and yes, I do have my nails done again, guys, so I will be doing my, you know, <laughs> hello. Um, yeah, so Centre Parks, oh my gosh, such nice scenery. Can I just interrupt quickly? Yes. Are we going to go to the um, Starbucks um, and the sports place? Or the other place, like soft play place. Oh yeah, let's go soft or play. Or watch place. Yeah, let's go soft, soft play. A bit further, but like yeah. Amber had so much fun in the soft play yesterday. But yeah, if you've never been to Centre Parks, it's basically like, how do you explain it? It's like it used to be on activities. On TV yeah, yeah, they? they did. Yeah, yeah, like activities. For, it's just like a whole activity thing. Everyone yeah. stays in lodges. There's like amazing swimming. Um, yeah, the lodges are like that. Like there's every activity you could ever think of. Um, obviously, Amber is a little young for basically every activity. We, did, we got a bit excited. But... And we like, oh my goodness, what can she do? And nothing. Then we just nothing. Apart so... from coming in the pool with us and watching <laughs> us do things like play. <clears throat> yeah. So that's what she did yesterday. She really enjoyed that, to be fair. She actually... She had a little go herself playing pool. <laughs> she did. She had a little go pushing the balls in the thing, and yep. it's great. And to be honest, the whole place here is quite early at the moment, so there's no one around. Yep. So what I'm going to say is not going to seem like it is. But there's usually loads of kids everywhere, and that's really, like, Amber loves just looking around at other babies. Like, she saw loads of the babies playing in soft play the other day. And I'm going to have to stop calling her a baby soon, because she is turning one in literally a few days. Apparently they're meant to be toddlers. They're then. toddlers! Oh. What, have we actually got a toddler? I can't believe it. Not yet. we got we got another four no, days of yet. baby. Yeah. Another few days. But yeah, we're on our way to Soft Play and Starbucks. So down there, we've come from up there. Down there. Oh, we oh. are going down there. <laughs> Tour. I know, guys. Centre Parks tour. They've got loads of parks and stuff everywhere, and then they've got like this massive, I want to say water area, but what is it? Like a lake, lake. or river? A lake. <laughs> I always get things like that wrong, and I just get abused in the comments. I'm like, and there's the sea, um, and <laughs> it's and like. There's a puddle over there. <laughs> <laughs> literally uh so yeah they have like water sports and everything it's great and they've got like this massive treetops thing guys it's literally deserted i do promise there's other people here we haven't hired sure the whole thing out because obviously we are celebs it's they have just <laughs> hired the whole center parks out for us yeah that's definitely not happened but it is actually nine o'clock so i'm not sure where everyone is but they will be here later and it does get pretty busy <laughs> <laughs> they, they will are, be here they will be here we promise guys they said they'd come <laughs> No, not Dada, I'm Mama. She can actually see. Amber, who's this? Did you really just say Ada? It's not Elmo, it's Mama. <sighs> so we've come to the sports cafe. Again, absolutely deserted. Um, but we're gonna grab some breakfast here and then all the fun activity stuff is out there. Oh. We need to fuel up first, yes. the coffees and bacon breakfast things. <sighs> Dada. Dada. Dead. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, we've just come into the soft play area. James is coming to join us now. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Look who we were looking at. Ready? Push. Oh, my. She's fascinated by this. Ready? Push. Oh. And she keeps catching him. Is he scary? No. So, hello. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. I had to stop filming in there because there were loads of babies that literally bundled in. And she, sorry, I'm just putting my shoes on. And she was having so much fun with them. Were you? And you said hi, hi to all of them. She's still looking in there over there <laughs> at the babies. Food has arrived. This looks absolutely delightful. Where's yours? Oh. hiding behind the menu. I don't know why. That's just where James is, is over there. <laughs> and Amber's having some toast. She's actually already had breakfast this morning, but she's having, you know, a mid snack, mid morning snack. We like to keep ourselves full. I know we can go back in the soft play. She's looking over there longingly, like, man, my friends are over there. And they were like four years older than me, but I was like part of the cool gang, okay? They were all like being my friend. Yeah, you were, weren't you? You were being looked after. <laughs> we got our Starbucks's. James just queued in the Starbucks queue for like 20 minutes, not even joking. Um, there's always a huge queue for the Starbucks because all the parents are just like, get me coffee now. Um, yeah, get the coffee, <laughs> watch the kids play. Yeah, so James is just watching Amber in the soft play. We've moved to the second soft play, um, which Amber was playing in yesterday and absolutely loved. She just has the biggest whale of a time ever. Like she loves watching other babies she loves it and like she's trying to stroke them and like pass toys back and forth with them it's adorable i wish i could vlog it and show you because it's like so so cute but obviously i don't want to vlog anyone else's children so <laughs> it's a shame we can't but yeah she's adorable oh look she's on her own for a minute hello hello, hello. you oh my goodness just gone back to the lodge uh, james has just popped to the shop to pick up some bits for lunch um Amber's playing down there. I just wanted to show, because I feel like I'm a bit of a sucker for, so like I just got back to the lodge and I was like, I need to do a really quick, quick, queen, <laughs> clean of the queenie lodge, clean of the lodge before I can show it. And then I feel like over time that just becomes really kind of like unrealistic of what the lodge or our places of living actually look like. So yeah, I'm gonna do a tidy now, but it certainly is not all tidy. Hello you. It's definitely not tidy with the baby, is it? Um, and in that room is like the, so our bedroom's there and that bedroom's like the second bedroom and it's just got like so much mess in it, which is great. Um, but yeah, I'm just cleaning away breakfast and gonna have a little bit of a tidy up, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, you're gonna have a play. Are you? Yeah, wow. Oh, this is a little bit fresher. Um, I did actually buy <laughs> tulips, if you saw my Instagram you will know, um, on the day we arrived we did a food shop before we came and I just, every time we go to like, like lodges or little places away from home I try and create like a home away from home vibe, so if we've got space like, I'll often take like blankets or fairy lights, things that I love, candles, um, but we didn't bring anything this time so I was like I know, tulips, you guys know I'm obsessed with tulips, um, and I picked up a bunch and they've honestly brought me so much happiness every single day just having them on the table. So yes, a little bit fresher, a little bit tidier, this one is still spreading her toys but that's, we love that, that's all part of the fun, um, and the views here are just gorgeous, like the lodges are so lovely, they've got these really comfy sofas, the woodland vibes, like out of every window you just get like woodland views which is so nice, um, they've got this like fireplace thing which I love because I'll tell you in a minute, but let me just show you this the view, if the weather was a little bit warmer and nicer you could do barbecues, very nice. Where's your duckies? There's little ducks and squirrels that come up to the window and she loves just watching them and she like bangs on the window when they come. <laughs> She's like, hello. They feel, I feel like they're very, um, what's the word? Oh look, there's the little ducks down there in that little pond. Um, I feel like they're very uh, confident animals because they probably see humans all the time. Um, so they're just coming right up to the window, like picking the window, it's so cute. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably behind the times, but these are smokeless fire logs. You literally put it in, light each end with matches, and it just burns for like two hours. No smoke, really easy. I was like, this changed my life. I need one of these fireplaces at home because I love a cozy fire vibe. Um, and yeah, every evening when we put Amber down, we come here, light my fire log, and we just chill. Um, and it's a really, really lovely, really lovely thing. So yeah, we're just waiting for James come back from the shop and then we're gonna have some yeah. lunch. Yeah, where's your ducks then? Where's your ducks gone? Mwah. Hey, hi. 
Hello! Having some salmon on toast. Salmon on the toaster. Lovely. Salmon. 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 <laughs> We're practicing our French. Was that a good French accent? Because we may be going to France. Look, I saw James. a deer yesterday when uh, Cass had her lion and I took Amber out and about. Look how cool it is. Not the best photo. <laughs> um, trotted out in front of me. There we go, zoom in. Woo! Check that footage from you. That's actually really exciting. It was exciting because I heard a rustle last time. <gasps> what is that? And then I saw the little deer jump off. No, the that is actually there. really cool. Yeah. Like I've I've never seen a deer like that. Don't I've never seen a deer, a deer like that. A um, deer. Wait, I was gonna say something on on oh. good point with that, and now I forgot. About a deer. No, <laughs> wasn't really on point with that, but it kind of reminded me. It cracked me up so much on the first day. I had a really good example that I put on my story of the difference between me and James when it comes to like pics, family memories. <laughs> the So I was like snapping away as I usually do, you know, getting memes. Yeah, are you enjoying that? It's like literally her favorite thing. Salmon or tuna on toast. Snapping away, getting memories. James literally never takes photos. I don't even think he has an Instagram anymore. So he's that, oh gosh, I whacked my hand on the table. He's that much of an influencer. I haven't posted since December. <laughs> I, I just think I may as well delete my account, honestly. <laughs> I haven't done a story. I, I did one story, which was an ad, which I was contracted to do <laughs> from a few months ago. And like, I just don't, like, what is Instagram? <laughs> Why did they even ask you to do that? No offence. Well, they asked me and then, yeah. And then I think they were like, why have we asked him to do that? Because they tried to get us to do something else instead. And we were like, no, we can do a story on James's Instagram. <laughs> he can be an influencer. Yeah, for the day. But I, I actually would, love I that. I post on my Instagram. I'd love to be more into my Instagram. No, you wouldn't. And I that's in okay. some ways. Like, no. You know, you're such a good story, yeah? And then also, I'm, I'm just not very good at being like wearing a cool outfit and getting no, because that's just not me. I wear the same. Thing. You literally do I'm have to. I've these shorts this entire week. <laughs> I forgot to pack, pack tracksuit, guys. We <laughs> left a very hot Cardiff, and I was like, yeah, I packed everything. Got one pair of jeans, one pair of chinos. If we do anything nice in the nights, you know. And then I got three or four pairs of shorts. What more do you need? Well, I don't know. Tracky bottoms because it's absolutely it's freezing. freezing. It's not and summer. I don't wear jeans as part of my day. Jeans is a nighttime <laughs> item of clothing for me. So yeah, James has spent the whole time in shorts, even though it was absolutely freezing. But yeah, my original story was that we were snapping pics. Or I was snapping pics of memories. And the only picture James snapped the whole time we've been here was in this lampshade. He really stood in it and it was like, he was like, oh, come over here. Oh, look, it dismorphs our body. Oh, let me get a picture. It was literally like, oh my God, I need to get a picture of this. Not when we've been out on the bikes, when we've been making memories. Um, but to be fair, you did get one of the deer. I did, I got one of the deer. So to sum up your holiday, you've you got a with me. If you were with me, I honestly wouldn't know. No. I only take photos to show Karis. Well, to be I fair. Don't, I don't take photos to show anyone else, which I don't know if that's brutal on all of our friends and family. Because I'm just... <laughs> It's just you. You're the only person. I just love on. that you're an influencer <laughs> for your job. It just I'm cracks me up. An influencer for you, Karis. No, to you're be fair. You're the only person I can date. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate that dear vlog. James obviously is part of the vlog channel and everything. Well, yes, he's half of the vlog channel. More? Would you like more? Do you want more? More. Good, Good girl. girl. Good girl, more. We're really coming along with our sign language. Are you done? <laughs> done. Good girl. I know speech. I think she just repeats anything we say though without really knowing what it means. No, you don't. Water? <laughs> We're just offering everything now. Yes, I'm loving the sign language, guys. It is so satisfying when she picks a new one up. She picked up milk really quickly, so she asked for milk like that, and then the only other one we've done is more so far. We do do thank you and stuff. To be honest, it confuses me, because when I look it up, there's like different versions of sign language, so I need to... I don't know if there's like a specific one, because I know there's ASL, which is American Sign Language. I don't know if I'm following that or not. So I've just originally... You want to BSL, don't you? British Sign Language, I know. But then... I don't... Do you think it would be one of those things that there could Should be, be universal sign language? Yeah. But then I guess we say things in different ways in English and... Maybe they cross over. I don't know, I have to look into... English and American would be very similar, but maybe not. I just Googled when I was learning it, like... Sign language for milk, sign language for more, so I'm not sure which one we're doing. But, but it is amazing because my, yeah, my auntie signs and she says mm. how there's almost like accents when it comes to sign language. Yeah. So people in different places of the country do slightly different. That's amazing. It's crazy, isn't it? It's you so, it so like amazing. Her. And I love seeing her picking up those little things. I, I like, when you start, when I started doing it, I was doing it for ages, more, more. 
it was like, you know, it took a long time for her to start doing it. And when she did, I get so excited. And it really feels like they're starting to communicate with you. And also the same when she finishes the food, I'm like, done. And now she started going, done. And it's so, I mean, I don't even know if she knows what she's saying, but I believe that she does. Because when she's finished her food and she doesn't want any more, she often says, then Amber is down for her nap. The sun is coming out. I feel like the sun was just beaming on my face. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the sun is coming out. It's going to be a great day. Well, it is a great day. We're like literally over halfway through the day. I am prepping swimming, bits and bobs. We are off swimming. You have to like book a time slot for swimming. So I'm just prepping to get ready. Mine and James's. Oh, Amber's little swimsuit. It still breaks my heart. Like sometimes I still, like when I'm prepping her clothes and stuff, like sometimes I still literally look at her clothes and I'm like, do I actually have like a little baby? Do I actually... Did we actually create a little baby that wears little baby clothes? Honestly, sometimes it's still so surreal and we'll both like so often kind of like look at each other or like say things like that to each other when she's just like sat playing or we're just watching her like in the morning and we're just like, what? Is that our baby? Like, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like we've been saying that loads to each other recently because just checking time because she's about to turn one what do we actually have a toddler what did we create that did i grow that in my stomach what um so i feel like stuff like that just i don't know if that's ever gonna go away like any of you guys who've got like older kids like when does that not become a thing or are they gonna be like 25 and i'm gonna be like do i have a child what I just can't imagine not being like baffled by it. Oh, this was the, uh, the lampshade that uh, I was on about earlier <laughs> that James just found so hilarious, <laughs> which to be fair, I say that and I take the mick out of him for that being the only thing you got a picture of. But we were literally in hysterics for like a good 10 minutes looking at those pictures. Like, you know, you like cry laughing. So even though I crack up at him and take the mick out of him, he, it makes me laugh so much. And we did have such a good laugh at that. We were literally like, you know when you like cry laughing and your face just hurts. So James has actually popped out to return the bikes. We're leaving tomorrow, um, but we thought we'd return the bikes early because I feel like returning the bikes is like a really stressful part of center parks. Everyone goes like all in one kind of like go to like pick up bikes and return because they have like switch over days where like people come in and will like leave the villa and stuff the lodges. Um, I'm gonna try and prop you up here while I make a cup of tea, even though that is not the best lighting. I'm sorry, that's why I was trying to stand. Wow, I'm like configuring some sort of magic stand there. Amazing. Yeah, they have like switch over days where people come and like, I'm gonna clean the camera lens again. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted really easily. One second, I'm back and now the battery's going. So let me just change the battery, I'll be back. So yeah, as I was saying, they have change over days. This is really boring. I don't know why I'm like going way out of my way to do a whole story time about by James is returning the bikes and it gets really hectic. So anyway, James being James is like super practical. Like he loves everything to run like super smoothly. Um, and like, if he can avoid, like do anything to avoid traffic or like just to create like the most smooth running, you know, organization of life, which I love because we work very well together because I'm the type of person that would literally like book something at like the worst time possible. Like I'll book like a date night. If it's like my go to book a date night, I'll book a date night on like, um, when schools are off, just after, you know, either after school or like when everyone's there. And then I'm like, why is it so busy? And James is like, yeah, this is the worst time we could have booked something. So we work, we work well together in that sense. Um, I bring the fun and James brings the organization fun. I like to think I bring the fun anyway. I think James does more of that as well than me. Uh, so yeah, he's going to return the bikes. So we don't have to do that tomorrow because we've got her pram. We had loads of fun on the bikes and it was really fun. But um, at the moment with like swimming and like going out for food and stuff tonight, it's just we'll take her in the pram, it's much easier. Um, unless we're doing like activities or like the main thing is bike riding, it was actually easier to take her in the pram. So yeah, returning the bike and I'm making a cup of tea. I think he'll be back in a second. So I'm gonna make James a cup as well. I just want to stay and chat for a bit, guys. I'm in a really chatty mood. How are you guys? What is going on in your life at the moment? Um, where are we now in the year? Obviously, we're at the beginning of April because Amber's birthday is April the 4th. Um, April, I feel like April's like a really nice time of year because it's like we're full, fully in spring, which is like a nice time of year because like 
the trees are getting a lot kind of like greener and the garden so like we've got some work starting on the garden on literally well Amber's birthday week so like from the 4th the guy's coming um, and we've like ordered the patio and everything I know we'll go over that in like probably the next vlog or like a future vlog but yeah we've got some really exciting stuff happening in the garden which is making me feel these they're just too small like what's up a cup of tea I'm like how much actual cup of tea like liquid are we fitting in there like this our mugs at home are literally like massive we have massive cups of tea i'm just gonna make them in these because that's all we've got and to be honest like i reckon if sometimes mugs can be deceiving like you'll think oh my god that's got loads in compared to that but then you'll pour that now i feel the need to like pour water in here and put it in there and just see how much how much more actually is. I've missed vlogging. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. And I get really, really chatty. I mean, I'm chatty anyway, but I get really, really chatty if I haven't talked to you guys in a while. <laughs> I'm needy. <laughs> um, okay, so I filled that up. No, you can't see, but let's have a look. That's not far off. So that's like full. Again, I'm not gonna pour it because it's literally full to the brim. And there's like, I'd say like a fifth left in there. Did you hear that little splash? That was how much was left. So, but then that wasn't like full all the way to the top and then that was, so there's definitely less in that. It wasn't as deceiving as we first, first or potentially thought it would be. So yeah, I feel like April's really nice because like you're really creeping into summer and like, yeah, we just, I feel like I'm really excited for summer with Amber. Like she's gonna be toddlering, whatever that may look like. Looks different, every single baby's different. Um, yeah, I was talking to a mum earlier in soft play. There's James. <laughs> Hello! I made you a cup. <laughs> we see he's got his shorts on. No, he's not coming in for his cup of tea anyway, guys, so that was wasted. He's taken, took the one bike already, and now he's come back and he's taking the other bike. He's a good guy, isn't he? But yeah, he's saying he's freezing because he's got his shorts on. Because he forgot his shorts. I can't remember what I was saying, but, um, oh yeah, how, um, babies, like every baby's different. Um, and I feel like being online is sometimes quite difficult because of lots of ma many reasons. Um, but I actually, I actually, I absolutely love being online. I didn't mean to say I actually love, I meant to say I absolutely love being online. Um, but there are obviously difficulties with everything in life. But I feel like one of the main difficulties with being online is like people are so quick to kind of judge either you or like your baby or anything like that. And when it's me and James, we don't care. But like, I mean, when it's anything, obviously we've been online for so long. It's all absolutely fine. Everyone can have a, an opinion, that's fine. But I feel like you can feel very quickly like your baby isn't progressing as they should or like isn't doing this or isn't doing that um, because people are so quick to kind of comment on that. That's why to me, having like mum friends offline and just chatting to them and involving myself with you know, people that have babies that are Amber's age and stuff like that. It is so important to me because I have such great open conversations with these people about, and, and it reminds me, and they remind me how every baby is different. And like, I guess I got a bit sad the other day that I re refrain from being that reminder online to other people because of the fact that I worry or have been worried about like what other people would say um because people are so quick to kind of say things online which like i said is fine but i feel like it's made me sad only for because of the fact that it stopped me then sharing with other mums out there who don't have those mum friends or haven't had those conversations that every baby is different and as always if you have any concerns or anything you see your health visit you talk to someone that'll be the same with us obviously but you know babies can range and be so different. And it was just so nice today talking with just random people in soft play that I'd never met before. And they were all telling me about how, cause obviously Amber bum shuffles and like she pulls the stand and all those different things. And they were all kind of like chatting me through their babies. And like one of them didn't walk till this or didn't walk and then didn't crawl and then did, and they're all different. And it was just lush to have those conversations with people. And so if you, need that reminder today i wanted to be that reminder that all babies are different um because i guess i was like being put off saying that and, and be and sort of reminding people of that online because yeah online can just be a compl complicated space at times um 
but like I, I can appreciate and understand all the reasons why why it is. Yeah, so I just had some really nice conversations with people today and it was just really, really lovely. Oh my gosh, I keep losing my train of thought. And I'm literally having such a long chat. Um, I know I've been chatting for like forever, so. And I'm really, really slowly making my cup of tea. Yeah, I was gonna say, I saw a TikTok the other day, which was really quite like, lovely and I needed a reminder of that. But again, with like milestones and things, I feel like online or offline, you can like convince yourself that you can't celebrate your baby's like milestones if they haven't like hit other milestones, do you get me? So like, say for example, your baby should be walking and they haven't started walking yet, or like as in they should be walking and everyone's kind of going, oh, they'll walk soon and blah, blah, blah. You then feel like you can't celebrate your baby's achievements when they, I don't know, say their first word or do like, you know, start humming songs back to you. Or I don't know, whatever they do, you feel like, or I do anyway sometimes, like refrain from being like, online especially. Ah, oh, you know, I was doing this, I was doing that, whatever. Because you're like, they're gonna judge me for the other things that they're not doing. But, so yeah, I, I really needed to see that TikTok myself to be like, yeah, no, actually it's okay to like, celebrate your baby and like celebrate what they're doing. It doesn't always have to be like the next biggest milestone or like whatever, you can celebrate. Like I always feel silly when I'm like celebrating the fact that she, you know, says a new word even though it doesn't even sound like that. And I'm like, it, that's what it is though. I feel like I know she's trying to say that. And yeah, I just feel like it's okay to do that. It's okay to celebrate them for like everything and, and let them know that you're really proud of them for like everything. It doesn't have to be massive big milestones that you're cheering them on for. It can be absolutely anything that you feel proud of them for. So yeah, I just wanted to be your reminder for that today because it's not always an online thing either that can make you feel like that. It depends, you know, what's happening in your life. It could be family members, it could be friends, it could be anything that could be making you feel like that. It doesn't have to be the fact that you're online sharing stuff and people are, you know, giving you a, a, opinions and advice or whatever. It, it can be offline as well and that can be so much harder <laughs> than like people saying things online is when people are saying things like from within your family and everything like that, so yeah. As always, I have to finish any, I feel like, baby chats by saying, if you are concerned about anything, of course you can talk to your health visitor um, and yeah, your GP or anything like that. But let's celebrate our babies for all the things that they do, no matter how big or small, because they are awesome. Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging now because I've literally done like a basic, a q a in the middle of this video but i've really enjoyed this thank you if you're still here i do have very chatty moments within the vlog and i do know our vlogs can be very long and there's like long periods of time where i do talk so thank you <laughs> don't worry if you want to skip those parts honestly like i'm not just saying that like if you want to skip me like i honestly like i get it it's definitely not for everyone the long chatty bits um, and they can definitely be quite boring but i've when i have watched youtube in the past i've really enjoyed those bits where people are just kind of a bit more just chatting as they are and things aren't as, as much on the go i like a mixture in vlogs so um and i really enjoy like talking i really enjoy talking to you guys um and sort of like sharing what's on my mind and i get a lot of relief from that and a lot of happiness from doing that so thank you um if you are here and watching <laughs> that's lovely but honestly never feel guilty if you want to like skip forward those bits because i totally get that there's two different types of vlogging within our vlogs and stuff and yeah whatever bits you like is fine i'm just glad anyone's here watching i love it guys thank you so much honestly i'm back just to say this cup of tea is delicious but i'm not being penny it took me so long to make and i talked so long it's cold <laughs> okay so i'm gonna enjoy my cold cup of tea cheers oh it's a little bit later on now we're all packed and ready to go swimming Hi. we're gonna give you a gymshark <gasps> fashion show oh hello yes. Paris, especially, like is sponsored by Gymshark long term. So oh, me clear. especially. It's very clear this is an advertisement part of the video. Sponsored by Gymshark. We love working with Gymshark. Yeah, I've been working with Gymshark for like six years. Um, and I've been tagging along. <laughs> <laughs> and I um, tag along as well. Hi! Yeah. yeah! I'm not alone anymore <laughs> tagging along. But they more recently sponsor our YouTube channel, which is so exciting. Um, it's snowing. It's actually. Gymshark. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it sewing. actually is sewing. Amber, this is your first bit of snow. It's not going to stick. No. But look. You cannot see it on the camera either, but there definitely are snowflakes coming out there. Um, Maybe we won't be able to drive home tomorrow. So we'll be stuck in Santa Claus forever. 
yes, this video is sponsored by Gymshark. Um, so let's show off the Gymshark okay. outfits. I mean, we are literally wearing Gymshark 24-7. It's literally all I wear. James is like, <laughs> we always joke that James is like the walking advertisement Gymshark athlete. I'm a Gymshark billboard. Literally. Today's so these are my favourite Gymshark shorts. Ooh. I think they're hit shorts. Have you got the Gymshark socks on today? Wow. That, but I'm pretty sure these are two of the same... Like when you get them as a pair, <laughs> yeah. like the logo is meant to be on the outside. Definitely. Each, so I'm definitely just, you know. And then this is one of my favourite Gymshark tops. We love that one. I have this in green as well. It makes you feel Christmassy all year round, you know. <laughs> the yeah. Christmas vibes. But I actually, I think of this as like a not, not one of my sports tops. Oh, okay. That's this like a fashion. Like a chilled day top. And then I've yeah. got all my light curry ones. I've got that. I've got like it. two types of vibes. Some that I wear. Snowing! Just plopped. Oh my gosh, the TV's on. I was like, what on <laughs> earth is she watching? I didn't realise the TV. I thought you were just staring at a blank screen, lovely. Well, okay. you see the snow out there, sorry. I know. I know. I don't, I don't know, know if you can. It does a little bit. Um. We need to walk to the pool now and... That's amazing. I, wonder, I don't think that's going to stick at all, though. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy about 30 seconds of TV. Karis, your outfit, darling. My outfit! So, these are the power leggings. I absolutely love them. Um, the whole power range is insane. I'm just not sure. They're often sold out because they're very, very popular. Um, I do love. And then this also, these are probably like the power like range in general. And then this training oversized hoodie. And you already know the training leggings. Yeah. 100% my most worn. So, like the training vibe yeah. is my vibe. Do you it's wear so them to train or are they like comfort, <sighs> leisure, just everyday chill wear? So these are definitely like, the power ones are definitely like for chill. I feel like I've got right. two vibes like you said, like some for training, some for like fashion. Yeah. I feel like my power I love, I do love for fashion. With the axles like, as well. With the axles. I'm sure to say another brand. I'm not the axles train, this guy's very proud of axles. And my marks on my clothes from having a baby. Let's be honest, Cars, you had marks on your clothes even before having Amber. I literally think that's curry <laughs> um, from when Amber was asleep. <laughs> and that's probably chocolate or coffee. So <laughs> I'm going to just blame it on the baby though. Sorry, I blame you. Sorry, my fashion show continues. And then um, this is, like I said, the training oversized sweatshirt. Training range, again, I wear sometimes for working out, but mostly for fashion. And then I'd say Vital Seamless is like my favorite range for working out. But I yes. have a mixture. But this, genuinely, is the best sweatshirt ever. My friend bought one. She loved it so much and wore it so much. She's also a fellow mum. That, she bought a second one. And yes. She just wanted to swap I think she wears them. it for like two days, puts it in the wash, wears it for wears the other one for two you days. literally. It's all you need in life. It's it a grey sweatshirt. I know, it's such a basic and it just goes, I feel like then you can jazz it up with loads of colourful leggings, different coloured shoes. It goes with, I feel like grey is literally the best colour in the world because it goes with white, black, navy, any colour. Sorry. I love how there's so many Gymshark, amazing Gymshark products and we've spoken for about a minute on a plain grey sweatshirt. <laughs> but it's the fit, it's the fit and the fabric, we love it. I'm actually going to wear a grey Gymshark hoodie, which I'll show you when we walk into the pool. So yeah, we'll leave some links in the description, guys, if you are interested yes. in checking out um, Karis' favourite products or a couple of things that I'm thank wearing you, today. Gymshark. And thank you, Gymshark, for sponsoring us long-term. Yeah, means the most we love to it. us. And we are now going to try and walk in the snow. Oh. Yeah, it's, it was cold this morning, and I wonder how cold. That is crazy. Surely you guys can see this. I'm going to go out the door. Can you see this? Can you see it? Like, it, it looks like... You can see a little bit of snow on the camera. But it's, it's snowing so much more. So you can see it's sticking slightly to the path. That is crazy. So I can catch some. Look. I'm catching some, kind of. <laughs> yeah, well, sunglasses are good in uh, ski resorts and stuff. I've got two pairs just in case it gets really sunny. Just Lovely. in case it got, you know, like summer. But when we left Cardiff, it was gorgeous weather. It was. Hence why I've only bought shorts. Literally the woman that we spoke to in Centre Parks, the woman that worked here in the shop, she was yeah. like, it was 21 degrees the other day. No, it's going to be snowing. Yeah. I was like, I know. Where snowing or rain in a couple of days. I, would we rather snow or rain? <laughs> do you find these Probably funny? Snow. Like my hat. So this is the pool area. I don't really want to get, you know, too many people in their uh, swimwear, just in case they don't want to be on the vlog. They wouldn't want to be on the vlog going down a rapid. Um, but yeah, we just... I got really bad cramp yesterday going down the rapids. <laughs> I thought I'd give it a go. Our favourite pastime, we used to come to Centre Pass quite a lot as a kid. Uh, was going down the rapids and yeah. I couldn't get my leg over the initial wall. I was actually laughing at a lady. We were all laughing at her. She was laughing along who couldn't get over the wall. It's really high. It's really high. It's a and laughing was, point. So I had a little chuckle and then I tried to swing my leg over. 
missed the first time, managed it the second time, but then ended up with the worst crap <laughs> down my right car. All the way down the rapids. And I wasn't I, there. I was like there, like going down the rapids, like, oh my leg. Anyway, and he did, that couldn't was even the last story. make the most of his rapid experience. No, because you were like, I'll have Amber, you go down the rapids, James. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, it'll be fun. It wasn't fun. You go and live life. I'm never while going I... down them again. I'll look after the baby. <laughs> and he got cramp and didn't even enjoy it, so. That's that. We'll both be staying non-rapid side yes. this swimming adventure. You can do it um, this time. But the outdoors, like pool and everything, is just amazing. It's so warm. It's, there's loads to do. There's little slides. I went into the little. Um, well, we both went into the little like play swim area with Amber yesterday, and there's like uh, uh, slides that you can go down like with her on your lap. And I went down one. I'm not even joking. The slide stopped, and then it went on to like gravel ground, which is underwater. To like, it's like a non-slip surface for like babies. It's extraordinarily nice. It's, in, it's extremely like gritty. Literally, all the other mums and dads were stopping at the end of the they slide. They were trying to stop, and you just were went, they? Yeah, is that they the put point? Effort into stopping. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, what's happened? Why am I like? I literally flew all the way off the end of the slide, like all onto the gravel. Literally, like grazed the heck out of my bum. And the guy was like, wow, that's the furthest I've seen anyone go so far. I was like, oh my God, you won the competition. I just won. I just slid through the whole kids you won section. The pain. Yeah, and I had like cheese grated my bum. It was not nice, very sore. Um, but Amber enjoyed herself. <laughs> Looking good in that. Wow. Uh, that looks I've nice on you. <laughs> this one's yours. This means it means swimming. Look at her smirking. She's like, oh my gosh, I usually wear this oh, in the bye pool. Bye. bye. I want to try jellies on instead. We're in. Look how blue the water oh, is. Look at the slides. You can see the slides, the indoor area. Nice. So we're just currently having a drink as we wait for our kind of dinner reservation to be ready. We've got 20 minutes and we thought we'd give Amber a bit of food here before she then joins us. We're going to um, Bella Italia tonight. So like mm. Centre Parks, they have like lots of chain restaurants as well as some others. So we're going to Bella Italia. We actually haven't eaten out. It's our first night eating out. Um, so Amber will come and join us in Bella Italia and have some out. very healthy pizza and chips probably. But we thought we'd give her a bit of a bit of a bit of a, a, a pack to maybe to get some nutrients in beforehand. Yeah. So yeah. We'll be drinking beer and she can have her vegetable pack. And we're eating out at 4 pm for 4 dinner. 30. Yeah. 4 30. This is what parent life is. Apparently. Yay. Dinner. Apparently. Yeah. Hello. Oh, we're eating. Are you ready? Food's almost ready. Ooh. So we are making our way to Bella Italia now. Literally guys, this is what I was saying, right? Let me just pull over and show you. So I'm putting on a cute outfit for the meal out. Two minutes in to the meal. You see this? Food stains. That's why you don't wear sleeves. Yeah. Short sleeve stuff. It's just, you know, all, you, all in the that, name of looks. That is good actually. James is good at wearing like short sleeve tees, whereas I do get sweatshirts oh, I know I'm looking where I'm going I do wear a sweatshirt every time I wean her which is the worst possible thing because then you get food all down you and then my washing basket I'm like why is it so full when it's full of like 50 sweatshirts well, honestly, yeah you just have so many and James is like take the sweatshirt you off have, like, to wean her four sweatshirts in a wash because they're just thick I know but like, you just get dirty with food I know I'm just repeating what you're saying I just don't like being chilly guys okay I like a sweatshirt on at all times but yeah we're on our way to Bella Italia now for our meal our 4 p.m. dinner we're going we're in we're going in <laughs> Ooh, how just, exciting just took a look out of me from my vlogging clip we're going in I feel like we forget to vlog every time what we got so we got do some people want to see dirty food I know like do you even want to see this guys it's not even aesthetic the cutest little mini <laughs> pizza for Amber James got a pizza chips, broccoli, like you don't need a meal tour, but I gave you one anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Guys, <laughs> this, is, one. this is the real dessert food, the, one. the food tour. Yeah, don't even talk to me, okay? James didn't even get a dessert because he's that boring. So we're just going to ignore him. Um, oh my goodness. Cookie dough is literally my favorite thing in the whole world. So it's my dessert. Um, but to be fair, there is, oh look at that steam coming off. I thought that was your favorite thing in the whole world. Oh, Amber, you are. Maybe. Not at the moment, though. Got one of these. There's a, um, yeah, James has got Amber a little ice lolly to suck on. Is that nice? Is that nice, Sounds. What? <laughs> Bit cold. There's an ice cream um, parlor thing. 
um, which does loads of amazing looking ice cream. So I'm probably going to get dessert number two over there when James gets his. James didn't even get an ice cream in the end. How disappointing. I kind of didn't. I don't fancy one. I've had to go over a nice cup of tea. Oh, that does sound good. It the was snowing so much, wasn't it, when yeah. we were in Bello Italia? It was, yeah. And it's just stopped. I feel like every time we come outside, it was snowing when we were in the lodge, came outside, it had stopped. Oh, yeah. Same there. Oh, yeah. That's Clearly, weird. we don't want Amber to have her first snow on her face. <laughs> oh, yeah, it will be as well, because oh, it didn't, yeah. yeah. So, it's all over Christmas. Um, so, yes, we're walking home currently. So, like, walk no. <laughs> Yeah, we are walking home. <laughs> but oh, I'm vlogging goodness. and talking. We did actually hire okay. bikes, didn't we? We but did. But we're lucky that our lodge is quite close to kind of yeah. all the main bits and it yeah. just seemed more convenient to walk. Yeah, I said that earlier when you were oh, taking did, them yeah. back. I said we really enjoyed when like the main reason for going out on the bikes was going out on the bikes. Yeah. Like that was really fun. But when yeah. it was actually we're going to and from places, like we were really close and also it's just convenient with yeah. Amber's pram. And I had to, to take. put the pram. There was actually stores for the pram. So in I put the, the bike, pram yeah. in the trailer. But then coming back was up a really steep hill. And so I was pulling Amber and quite not a heavy pram, but a pram in a yeah, trailer. Yeah, yeah. Didn't enjoy it that much. <laughs> and I was just cycling, so, you know, that was effort still on its own. Though, didn't I? Yes, you did still just beat saying. me. How embarrassing. Um, <laughs> it's a really good kind of like fitness trip, Centre Parks. Yeah. You feel like you've really, you know, gone at it with the fitness. Like you walk everywhere, you cycle, yeah. it's all uphill. You're out of breath the whole time. And also we're it's at great. Longleat. We went to Sherwood Forest yes. a couple of years ago. That was flat. And I do say this is, this is the hilliest, I think. And yeah, you can see why, especially some of the lodges on the other side of the lake. I know. That is tough. Yeah. Yes. Definitely there's... would go back to Sherwood, even though it's yeah. like double the time. Sherwood was lovely and flat. Lovely and flat. Like we cycled literally like dilly yeah. dally, like, oh, oh, oh. So that was chilled. before you. Mum was, was pregnant, so even then we didn't actually you. cycle that much. We took our own bikes, remember? Oh my God, I was, yeah, I was so like early. I think I was like seven weeks pregnant. Yeah, we hardly used them. I had morning sickness, like, yeah, we didn't really use the bikes too much because I was so nauseous. And I just have very vivid memories of like, uh, we were going, we went with James's family and you were like all booked to play like badminton yeah. or something. And I was like, I really want to join him, but. I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here. I'm just gonna sit on the and side. And we took our fan. We took this massive fan with us because there was a heat wave. Oh Do you remember gosh. the fan that we still have? It's an amazing fan. <laughs> Yeah, it's just Amazing like, um, fan. I'll leave a link in the description. Yeah, his no, name's Jerry, won't. and he just stands in the corner of the room and he goes, Go, Karis! You <laughs> might be sick. Oh my god, that's a dad you joke. Don't... I know, it's terrible. Anyway, no, it is a really good fan. Um, yeah? And we took it because you, you, you were struggling so much. In the heat. I don't know, I just found it funny that we went to Santa Fox <laughs> with a fan. <laughs> I just it was it funny that we decided to pack a fan. It was literally like right at the end of summer when I was that yeah. pregnant, so we must have gone around like it heat was, wave. It was mid-August, I think. Yeah, it must have been heat wavy. Yeah. Heat wavy, baby. Heat wavy, it was like high teens. <laughs> <laughs> heat wavy in the UK, 18 degrees. Oh, <laughs> so get me the fan. <laughs> uh, anyway. Pregnant, obviously you, get, you get hot in pregnancy, don't you? Yeah, okay, and I've still kept that on after. After having a baby, I'm constantly sweating. <laughs> but then I did have the overactive thyroid, which didn't help. That got me in sweats. Anyway, lovely talk here. Um, so we are going to love you and leave you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yes. We have next video I'm really excited about because it's set up. Ah, yes, you know right on cue, baby. Woo! Set up for Amber's first birthday. Can't wait. How exciting. We'll see you there. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. We love you so much. Bye. See you soon, Amber. Bye. See you, bye. 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 Ha, ha, ha.